What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fro bringing you guys a brand new video. And today, you guys, it's a little bit different kind of video. I decided while streaming to queue up as the solos and really try and talk through um every situation and what I was thinking. Um, I guess to the best of my ability. It's very, very tough because I get distracted easily. And but on why I was making decisions, on why I was approaching each fight the way I was, and um it's called it was almost like um you know there's other been youtubers that uh have been doing like in the mind of you know whoever but this is my solo breakdown when i'm in the game i actually ended up dying end game but also talk about what i could have done differently in um a different way i could approach it and so i hope this helps i hope you guys like this kind of video and i really tried my best to do it but sometimes in game it's very difficult to uh to focus and, and still do it but i think it was close to like a 20 kill game um in a solo and yeah i think it was a pretty good pretty good game so i hope you guys enjoy it let me know if it helps you guys out let me know if you guys enjoy this kind of video and um then we'll make another one so take you guys hope you guys enjoy the video we'll see you guys in the next time all right guys we're landing at the best spot for solos should I go? Should I do like my thinking stuff, guys? I'm gonna push this way because of this. Should I speak out loud everything I do? Should I do it? Get this gun. This guy's stupid. That's a free lick. Remember, if you land fast, you can actually catch people floating above you because they don't know how to float in. Dealership has been like my go-to for solos. You get a shit ton of cash and you get a van. And playing with a vehicle in solos is very important to get higher kill games. In my personal, professional, physical opinion. Oh, what the hell just happened to my mouse? Bounty. Even if you don't get the bounty, like you always um, say, even if you don't even like try and go kill the bounty, normally you'll ping the super. And then if they die, you just get more cash anyway. So in all honesty, it's a big, big pog. And there's like, I, f I feel like 90% of the time there's a bounty, you know, either in this building or in there. So orange crate means there's gotta be another one nearby. guys on the stairs I'm what I'm my bullets didn't register I'll stop shooting I have enough money for a loadout a main loadout for high kills is probably right now for me I'm more consistent with a with the M16 than anything else On this buy, like, if you really want to do it safe, you can always buy, like, the loadout inside. Normally, if I have at least 14k, I always buy a UAV first, pop the UAV, make sure I can buy my loadout safe and clear. I use the M16 in this game. So I'm just going to continue to do the walkthrough of why I do everything. Um, you can definitely use the vehicle. I don't know. There's no trophy here, so. I'm going to work my way to grab another bounty here. Bounties are extremely important, especially in solos, because you really want to get your cash flow to get really UAVs popping. Just want to know where everybody's at most of the time, at all the time. Let me at this time, which is like, uh, what time is it? 8.21 p.m. in the Central Standard Time Zone. <clears throat> lobbies die pretty quick. Like, they're just pretty sweaty lobbies. Everybody's home from work. Seems like my bounty's over here by the glory hole. Probably near the buy station. Just kidding. He's Robo away. If he goes top ATC, it's not even going to be worth my time. What do you got in this car over here? See him? Oh, 
Now this guy was getting shot from behind him. Wait. I'm getting wall banged from up top on the rooftop. Nice. That was my bounty too. So the way I position myself to head go to my car is like a perfect way to like play out this fight. You always want to use your car to your advantage. We zoom in out up in this bizzle dizzle for shizzle. <clears throat> now that I have money, I'm gonna go grab another bounty. I'm gonna hit this buy station. About to load out over there. I personally like using the vans because you can actually head glitch them. The trucks are extremely, extremely broken though, too. Arnie's pulling the dealership side. I don't know. I have a lot of cash, so I guess I'll buy a self res. I feel like self res really aren't that important in solos because most of the time you're in a one versus one gunfight. You're in a one versus one battle. And. If you lose a gunfight, you're dead like 93% of the time. So, again, I'm just gonna use my vehicle as an advantage here. That dude's listening to the radio while playing games. Respectable. Grabbing this trophy. What I've learned, I feel like this is the best spot for the trophy because the back, it still blows up, and then the front, it blows up. But if you throw it on the front, I feel like. Sometimes the C4 catches you on the backside. Oh, he was watching Tim the Tatman? I don't know. I just feel like using your vehicle is just so, so important. I'm going to head glitch this because he's sitting in the corner. If you look at the mini map. Throwing a stun. This guy's in the tower, so I got to be careful. Wait, is he sitting in the corner outside? Yep. So there's guys up here. So we just, while we're fighting that, we just got to make sure we're not super exposed. He's right here. I'm going to mount up. I can't mount up. It wouldn't let me. What's the mounting percentages? I don't even know. Like, Modern Warfare guns, like, your recoil is, like, 70% less or some shit. And then the Cold War guns is like 40% or something. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to go buy another UAV. I'm just going to play it safe. I know one guy's in TV and that's an extremely like annoying fight because you just don't know where he's at. And there's still a guy in the tower. So we're just going to chill. I actually might be able to get an angle on this guy in the tower. I think he's dead actually. I have $8,000 because I grabbed that bounty and got poached. So I got more money for that. I'm going to buy another UAV. Call it in. Just if you have the money, it's just always important just to have one just in case if you need assistance with the fight. Just to know where people are at. All right, so it seems like, let's see, this guy is pushing low red. He's in low right here. Normally I don't push these fights because these staircases are like mad annoying. I'm not gonna. This car's pushing me. But I'm assuming this guy's gonna peek top red because he went up the stairs. He's looking at the car. Perfect. See you later. Peace and blessings. Get out of my lobby. Back to the gulag for you. I don't know. These days, man, I would even say like a 20 plus kill solo is like. It's just probably a good game because of like how fast people die. And especially at this time of night. I notice my solos are just a hell of a lot better during the day than they are at night. So. Another thing you could rock with solos is like you can also use like. High alert perk, especially if you're like sniping. So it's a decent. Decent perk to use, but I'm not really a big fan. So this van actually stopped down here. I'm not sure where this guy's at. I think I have a UAV still. Yeah, I do. He probably just got ghost though. 
Because the van is right there. I don't think he got sniped or anything, so... <clears throat> Not sure. Normally, I don't even grab ghosts in solos just because... Like, if I die, I just want my loadout again. You know what I mean? Like, I want my perks. <clears throat> Figured this guy was going to challenge me. Most of the time when people see vehicles, like, they just full send it. And they just, like, they just challenge like crazy because the person's, like, driving by and they think they're not there. Yeah, I'm not getting ghost. I just don't think it's like, especially if I'm going to be driving in a vehicle, people are already going to know where I'm at. So there's really no point in me getting in a vehicle. So I'm just going to head back to dealership side, grab another UAV. The only thing is like in fights, people use heartbeat sensors. But if I'm going to be next to my car most of the time, because I don't really push in this, into buildings. I kind of stay with my vehicle like at all times. If people notice that. So I got top super. That's basically the only ping I got. I got a ping right here. I'm going to challenge this guy top super, I think. Oh my god, if I know how to jump. This guy's definitely on the roof, so I'm going to just play this high glitch here. This guy's dead. I'm not sure that last ping was. I think it was somewhere towards IHOP side. But this guy, for some reason, had $15,000. So. <clears throat> yep, so we're just going to make, make our way to another buy station. Keep using the vehicles. Not push inside buildings because it's just pointless. You can just die to, like, the shittiest players, especially if you're pushing inside buildings. So I don't even like this buy station right here. Normally, I would even go front super. But I'm lazy. And this buy hasn't been used yet. So likelihood of somebody being here is not very high. Buy and hold. There's a guy over here and a guy right here. So this guy's flo floating. This guy is... This guy over here is ghosted, so I got to make sure I be careful of where I push. I'm guessing that he probably went in top green buildings here. See, I don't really like fights like this because one, he's ghosted. Two, he's probably inside of a building, so I'm just going to give it up, I think. If I'm playing smart, if I'm playing for the win. Where did this guy peek me at? Wait, where did this guy shoot me from? I'm not sure. I'm going to keep moving. All right, this guy's stunned. I'm stunning him again. Now you have a free kill. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Also, when you're shooting at somebody that's stunned, you just... <laughs> aim assist, man. Aim assist is just too insane, bro. You just gotta, like, always be careful. So, like, me sliding across is better than me, like, running into his line of sight in, um, while he's stunned, you know? I'm gonna grab a bounty so we always know where at least one person is, at least. Even if you're not going for the kill, you get a lot of cash. But... Even if you're not getting the kill or going for the kill, you just know where somebody is. So you just, especially if you want to get kills, you always want to have some sort of direction. This guy's probably tower, hangar. My loadout's still in the circle, so I'm going to not even worry about getting ghosts. Plus, I haven't died yet. I still have a gulag. Hopefully, I can win my gulag and then come right back. Play my distance here. Oh, he hopped in the car. I'm going to chase him. So I got big balls. Wait. <clears throat> yeah. I always want to use their car as a head glitch. 
So see how like I position myself to where like I'm always using my car as a head glitch. Something to walk behind and get behind. It's just like, I don't know, it's just like extremely, extremely important. Because you don't, if you if you get caught out in the open, you're just, you literally have nowhere to go. Get another bounty. Get some direction. I have another trophy system if I want to upgrade my car to like a van or if my trophy goes away. I think they last 10 minutes, so. Looks like my bounty guy is probably top airport, which is like a really shitty fight, especially if I'm pulling up with a car. I saw this car just pull up here, so I'm gonna just kind of approach low hangers and see what's popping. So using my, again, I'm just using my vehicle as just an insane head glitch. And this guy has literally no idea which angle that I'm going to like pop out of. So I just crouched as soon as I got out, crouched behind the vehicle and boom, he just, he literally had no idea. And I knew exactly where he's at. So I'm like in the advantage right there. Some guy was pinging over here. Might have been a guy in a car, potentially. Oh, he's sniping right here. So this is a, kind of a weird fight because this ridge right here is... Must stun this guy, probably. Same kid, bro. Washington, the Tatman. <clears throat> Not my van is chalk, so I'm just gonna rotate back and go back and grab the other van over here. Or even grab Bertha. Bertha's good. So I think just using, again, like, especially in solos, like, don't ever push in buildings unless you absolutely have to, and using a car. Literally, to, like, it's just free coverage, you know? Every single fight. And it's like, yeah, it's like once you get the roll going in solos, like it's like the easiest thing ever too. so. You want to you make sure you keep like panning around, keep looking around. Like even if I lose this game, I think it's still been a pretty good game so far, so. So yeah, when I keep pulling, like when I pull up in my vehicles, like I'm... I, um, I always, like, do, like, a little donut almost where, like, my car, like, I get out on the safe side of the car or else all that is just worthless. Okay, I'm gonna actually gonna get in this, this car over here. I'm actually gonna get Ghost now because Ghost or Restock, I guess, or even, um, High Alert works just fine. But since I'm driving around in a car, I'm gonna grab Restock because it doesn't really... People are gonna know where I'm at already, so you might as well just get free stuns and free nades every 50 seconds. People are gonna be coming in from this side of the map, so you might catch people running out in the open. I'm gonna go pop a UAV, <clears throat> buy another one. I should have done that probably like five minutes ago, but. I just want to be careful, like, if you don't have a trophy, like, you always want to be careful where you're driving. Because if you're driving, like, in between buildings, next to buildings, stuff like that, you got to always be careful. Because people have been rocking Strellas and stuff like that. So this, if you've ever played solos, people play with, um, these Berthas. So, all I have the time and it's just me out here, I might as well just keep putting shots into the Bertha and make it weak for when I actually need to kill this guy. Head glitch this, see if there's people coming in from the gas station. I don't think there is. And using like the three like the three P angles from a car is also like extremely broken and very useful. You just see so much more, man. It's so stupid. Grabbing this ammo since I just shot a lot of it. I 
hate this meta. It's like a double AR meta. It's so stupid. That guy got out of his truck. I see him on top of the hill. I think. Just gonna top off on ammo from all this loot. Make sure I got a gas mask, satchel. I'm gonna keep my dead silence though. Pop another UAV, buy another one. A lot of people popping up on radar here. One guy up here. There was a guy pinging all the way up here, so. I think I really want to fight this guy up here, since, especially since I have dead silence. So I'm gonna act like I'm getting out of this guy's side. You can either like run all the way across and all the way down. Looks like he's fighting somebody on the other tower. And I have another UAV to where I, I can pop as well with my dead silence. Everybody drives the vehicles the last time. So right here, you can actually open up the door if you can't. He's just holding me right here. I'm going to double stun it. Run all the way around here. So we gotta be careful. I have self res, so I can also I can just peek this if I really want. So I'm actually gonna I knock the guy, so he's gonna be have the self res, which is what five seconds or six seconds or whatever. I have another new son in like 20 seconds, and he's gonna be one shot because he has to heal up as well. He's a loadout up here and claymores. You can jump on this railing and you can look the other way too. So, kind of just waiting for him to peek, wait for him to hit make noise. So, I don't know. There's like a lot of ratty like spots that you can hold. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for him to get like a little comfortable after healing and self resing to where like he'll like okay he doesn't hear me so he's gonna start moving around probably. Hopefully, that's the plan. That door is shut back there, though. He could be camping just on top of that staircase. Unless he threw a loadout and, like, blocked the door. I know some weirdos do that shit. I was not even paying attention to the gas. I don't think this guy heard me. Wait, what? I'm gonna be honest, I really wasn't paying attention to the gas. I was just waiting for this guy to make a move. But it all works out. Don't be afraid to use your gas mask. This man's gas mask literally just disappeared, bro. Just kind of playing for picks, playing for angles here. There's five people remaining. A lot of people are gonna be like probably up here, I'm guessing. Or near the hotel. I don't really need anything, so I'm actually going to just slide across here. And I'm dead. He's just camping underneath. Oh, like, so when the gas, when the gas mask actually, like, this guy made a good play. So me being up on that tower too long completely screwed me because, like, people just sit underneath and wait for people to jump off. I mean, I do it. Everybody does it. So... So, like, yeah, that's just the way souls work. Like, half the time, you can't do anything about that shit. But actually, with the gas mask, they don't disappear once the zone hits. Like, they start, like, jumping up in the air. Then they start taking damage like a normal gas mask would. I, like, I don't know if you see them. They, like, bounce up in the air and stuff like that. So, I don't know. What I could have done differently, definitely, like, not worry about that guy. I could have rotated hella earlier and kind of played that. I For some reason, I really wasn't paying attention to zone. But I did have gas mask, and it was covering only half the top tower. And I really wanted to kill that guy because he was just sitting up there. <clears throat> So, so if I were to play that differently, I maybe just would not worry about him. Maybe rotate early um, towards zone. But at the same time, people just like to camp inside um, like these buildings. Like, so this end game just definitely wasn't like very good, I would say. It was a good game, I think. I think, again, like what I've emphasis a lot on, man, is 
like using vehicles to your advantage not pushing in buildings unless you absolutely have to i think a lot of people are like dude but like so many rats and solos I'm like yeah that's true but if you have a vehicle and if you're rocking um and you're like you're moving and you're on a good momentum like you don't even need to enter this building. So the only time I ever went into buildings was to get bounties, and that was it. So, so I think it was still a pretty good game. Yeah, in solos, like yeah, getting a Bertha or a vehicle, like this zone has a lot of buildings in it, so it's definitely not ideal. But if you get zones that are literally anywhere, you'll see a lot of people hopping in Berthas, and Bertha is definitely a way, to, a way to win in solos. So, <clears throat> solos are just it's a Bertha fest, man. Honestly, and it's kind of um. It's kind of annoying actually that it's like a meta right now. So like this last guy is in a, in a Bertha. So like, what does this guy have that he can destroy that? Nothing. He's about to get ran over. The guy hopped out. That's a 1v1. This guy. What the fuck is he using? Is this an AK? He hopped back in Bertha though. Oh, what? See, the brother has still so much life left. He's like in such an advantage, especially since this guy doesn't have any throwables. So it's like, dude, you're just kind of screwed, you know? Oh my. He might get the truck stuck though, which he just did. Wait. Nope, never mind. <laughs> oh, dude. Like, that guy should have easily won, dude. <laughs> but yeah it's, exactly so end game like double centexes rocket launchers c4s like whatever you can get your hands on like literally anything for um end game especially in solos like get a crossbow or for or something you know but i don't know i think that was a decent game to show people like how i play solos and how you get a lot of kills in solos but like this time of day this meta it's very tough to even get more than 25 kills in solo. So.